What's good? It's your boy. Get into these behind the beats. Life of a producer. Y'all know me, Travis Cherry. Talking about more of the records I have out. Um, let me see. Uh, I guess I'll give you a little behind the scenes on a record that's kind of special to me. Uh, Sanjay Holiday's first album is called Come Here. I know a lot of y'all on YouTube have your videos up with your routines and uh, <clears throat> some of your choreography. And I'm, and I'm saying thank you to all of y'all for that. It means a lot to me. And whoever made that video with uh, Aaliyah in it, man, that's amazing. You know, that was amazing. Um, a little behind the scenes on Kamir. Um, Kamir actually, well, to be honest with you, with Kamir, I really didn't even expect to make it on Jay Holiday's album. Uh, I know he had put out a single before, and he had already been working with the Platinum Brothers, and I hadn't gotten a chance to work with him. And uh, I'm going to say that March of 07, because we all had been back and forth in the studio hanging out, because you know they he was friends with the Platinum Brothers, and his manager was friends with the Platinum Brothers. So, you know, we all got to hang out in the studio a lot. And... Uh, I know that there was a there was a situation with Capital where he had to have a single out um, within a month. So that March of '07, he needed to have a single. Or by the end of that March, he had to have a single out. So I know a lot of people were submitting records, and you know, <clears throat> we were all in the studio a lot together. And uh, I had kind of went through a lot of song ideas or beat ideas, and it, you know, I mean. I really didn't make anything that was really there. I know the Platinum Brothers had already had a good, a good amount of records on him. They had some smashes. There's still some that hadn't come out yet that are just, just business. Um, with Kamir, uh, to be honest with you, Kamir was born out of a night <laughs> where I was in the studio by myself. It was 3 in the morning, and I had a bottle of Jack Daniels sitting there in the studio, and I just really just let the Genelex talk to me. And I think, I think I had gotten frustrated because I was like, at the time, you know, it was like, I think buy you a drink was going super hard in the clubs, and I was like, you know what, I may as well just make one that kind of feels like that, you know. So I was like, I need that hard eight oh eights, need that, just that monster of of a beat to just speak to people. And so, you know, I uh, started playing around with started playing around with some sounds inside of Pro Tools. And if you didn't know, I do a lot of my production in Pro Tools. Um, I don't really do anything outside of uh, Pro Tools. I know a lot of people use Logic or, you know, people who use Reason or, you know, whatever, whatever you use. If it works for you, it works for you. You know, so be it. As for me... I uh I use uh Pro Tools. So um I was going through some sounds and I started kind of playing some chords in a a, a program called Sonic Synth. So there's this preset in uh the synths, it's in the uh, A bank and inside of your motion synths, it's called something wonderful and it sounds like this. So it sounds like that. Um so I started just kind of messing with some chords in there. And I was like, you know, just wanted to give it a simple feel. I didn't want it to be over com overly complicated. I didn't want it to, uh, you know, just be a super R&B extravaganza. I just wanted something that was just simple that people would just love. So what uh, ended up happening was, you know, I came together with those chords and uh, came with a nice little groove, a nice little beat. And... Uh, I think the next day or the next or the next two days from that or so, I had uh, let Adam from the Platinum Brothers hit that hit the beat that I had did, and he was like, "Dope." Um, I think you know you should just change the drops on it. So he had me pull up the Pro Tools session, and the way I had some of the drops going, meaning like you know some of the sounds where I had them placed coming in and out. He just kind of took some away and was like, no, nah, put it here, put it here, put it here to give it more, you know, verse and hook sections. Because I, I really didn't know exactly how it was going to come together. I was just like, I know it was hot, but I really didn't know. Um, 
So after he got it going, um, my boy, Carl Antoine, who was also working with me under the Platinum Brothers, dope, dope on the keys. Um, Carl was there in the studio with me one night, and I was like, Carl, I got this record. I mean, this beat. I'm like, yo, replay these synths for me. I'm like, I just want you on this record. And he was like, nah, nah, it's hot. How you got it? And I was like, nah, but you're with, you're, you know, we're with the team. Let's all just be on this record together. You don't, you never know what'll happen with it. So he was like, okay, cool. So he just replayed what I played, and I liked how he was playing it because I, you know, like, I'm, I'm not one to uh, take anything from anybody. I'm like, if I'm playing something on the piano and I don't feel like, you know, what I'm playing is on time the way that I like it. I'll let somebody else play it. I don't, I don't, I'm not tripping. The Platinum Brothers, they taught me when I first got with them. They were like, yo, you already got 50% of the record. You know, don't worry about writing all the records. Just get the record done. So, <clears throat> um, we got the beat rocking and uh, ended up being in the studio with RL from the group Next. He's super, super pin. His pin is crazy. Ended up being in the studio with him and um, we were going through some beats. And I think I didn't play that beat. We went through a lot of other beats and the Platinum Brothers played some other stuff. And so he had to go home, and he was like, yo, just give me a CD with beats on it. So he uh, he actually, I put that beat on there, and uh, he called me at like 5 in the morning, and he was like, yo, I got this record. And this was how it came together. Songs on demand. Yeah. Platinum Brothers. Girl, you get to know what your name is Looking like a model of somebody famous mm-hmm. Is the nigga that you came with You yeah, here alone, baby We gon' put the chains down So, you know, that's what he sent in my email And it was stupid So, um, you know we'll Let Jay hear it, you know And actually I ended up engineering the session Jay cut it And we knew it was gonna be special Um you know, everybody went crazy that heard it. Jay rocked the hell out of the record, uh, which it came together actually sounding like this. Let's see. I'll, I'll, I'll fast forward into it for you. Hey, girl, how you doing? What's your name is? Looking like a model of somebody famous. Uh, where's that nigga that you came with? If you hear a- so, uh, you know, it came together like that. Uh, actually, that whole week, it was like the last week of March when that came together. Label um, was going crazy, and uh, they were gonna put it out as a single, as the, the single um, on the album. And uh, actually, I think Ti was supposed to get on that record, but he ended up turning it down at the last minute. But the label kept it, and at the same time they had that record, they were like, "Well, we also got this record from one of our in-house producers um, called Bed." And at the time, Dream had Umbrella out, so they ended up keeping Bed and uh, Come Here. And needless to say, best experience in the world. Um, you know, album went gold. You know, I got a Grammy nomination for that. Um, you know, and I accomplished a goal, which was I really wanted to work with somebody who was, you know, who was coming from the ground up because I think it was just it's just more fun when you do it like that. And uh, I ended up making a sick club joint. You guys have supported it on YouTube, and I like I say thank you again. But that's just a little bit of the process behind what happened with uh, Kamir. So uh, look out for me again on Life of a Producer, Travis Sherry. Hit me on Facebook. Hit me on Twitter. You know, I'm around. And uh, that's the process of uh, Kamir. Look for some more. I'm going to definitely be posting some more for you so you know what happened on uh, some of these other records. Have a nice one. (laughs) Kidding.